Lift Him Up, March 1 Christ took upon Himself human nature. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. As one who understands his subject, John ascribes all power to Christ and speaks of his greatness and majesty. He flashes forth divine rays of precious truth as light from the sun. He presents Christ as the only mediator between God and humanity. The doctrine of the incarnation of Christ in human flesh is a mystery, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations. It is the great and profound mystery of godliness. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Christ took upon himself human nature, a nature inferior to his heavenly nature. Nothing so shows the wonderful condescension of God as this. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. John presents this wonderful subject with such simplicity that all may grasp the idea set forth and be enlightened. Christ did not make believe take human nature. He did verily take it. He did in reality possess human nature. As the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. He was the son of Mary. He was of the seed of David according to human descent. He is declared to be a man, even the man Christ Jesus. This man, writes Paul, was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who hath builded the house hath more honor than the house. But while God's word speaks of the humanity of Christ when upon this earth, it also speaks decidedly regarding his pre-existence. The word existed as a divine being, even as the eternal Son of God, in union and oneness with his Father. From everlasting he was the mediator of the covenant, the one in whom all nations of the earth, both Jews and Gentiles, if they accepted him, were to be blessed. The word was with God, and the word was God. Before men or angels were created, the Word was with God and was God. God and Christ knew from the beginning of the apostasy of Satan and of the fall of Adam through the deceptive power of the apostate. The plan of salvation was designed to redeem the fallen race, to give them another trial. Christ was appointed to the office of mediator from the creation of God, set up from everlasting to be our substitute and surety. Before the world was made, it was arranged that the divinity of Christ should be enshrouded in humanity. A body, said Christ, hast thou prepared me. But he did not come in human form until the fullness of time had expired. Then he came to our world, a babe in Bethlehem, 